guess what? Other companies gonna follow. And now it's time for a segment we like to call So They Say. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. I hope you're chiming in. So they say most successful women surround themselves with other women. That's according to a new study that finds female-dominated inner circles are the key to women gaining leadership roles. Now, a study that was done by researchers at Northwestern University and the University of Notre Dame showed that more than 75% of high-ranking women maintain a female-dominated inner circle or strong ties to two or three women with whom they've communicated frequently. In contrast, men with a larger network, regardless of gender makeup, are more likely to earn a high-ranking position. So, hey, women, get together, talk. And there are some benefits for this as well. Apparently, women who are around each other, they gain things like, and they provide things like trustworthiness, uh, gender-relevant information. Also, they talk about job cultures and how they can get around certain job cultures that they face uh, in the real world. Yeah. And I also found it interesting that women who have this, um, this high level of network are two and a half times more to get a good leadership role as far as a, a job placement than those mm. who have a low network and don't have a lot of women Mm. successful women in their network. Yeah, interesting. And this is really for male-dominated fields. Within our newsroom, it has changed over over the last few decades. When I first got into news, it was male-dominated. Now we have a whole bunch of women mm -hmm. in the newsroom. But I think, you know, as we're talking about this, I'm, I'm further reminded, you and I watch nightly news every night, okay. but last night they had a whole piece on uh, Colorado, the state uh, senators there, the, it's like they banded together a whole bunch of women, and the they've Fab been five. able, yeah, they've been able to help each other, push legislation, and support mm -hmm. each other during a tum tumultuous campaign season. So that was proof in the pudding on the uh, on the strength in numbers I'm for just, women. Yeah, I was just gonna say you just, that's a perfect example, strength in numbers, right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, the Fab Five. Yeah, getting a lot done there. I would imagine it's different for your generation, Francesca. The power of women. Uh, coming up in this business and just coming oh, up in your career. it is huge. I mean, yeah. I have so many successful friends uh, that you see on social media, and sometimes those circles don't even have to be, you frequently communicate with them, like, in real life. I mean, you're seeing women constantly create these movements. You're seeing these millennial women uh, come together and create conferences. So it's very powerful, just even making sure that you have that slice of how going to conferences or going to workshops, just being surrounded and being motivated, yeah. I think, is a big thing here. Don't it's forget us little people. Oh. <laughs>